Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries, and there was a Bible contest not too long ago, and I was one of the winners. Yay! Uh, it was a blessing. And so, uh, uh, just a great Christian brother uh, was offering Bibles, and I won one of them, so it came in today. Of course, uh, if you know the box, you see this is Church Bible Publishers. I got a card. What this Bible is, and we'll get it out here in a moment, is the Church Bible Publishers Large Print Text Bible, Red Letter Edition, Lamb Skin, the Redeemer series. So it has your cards. You can contact Church Bible Publishers. Some of the things that they do, Schofield Red Letter, So Winnie New Testament, Red Letter Hand Size Text Bible, Thompson Shane, Red Letter Cameo, Red Letter Turquoise, which that's my favorite right there. Right there. There it is. That's my workhorse. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, so my turquoise is the favorite of, of all my Bibles, but, um, in fact, this, I love center column references or bottom page references. I love those things, but I, I tell you what, this has very interested me for a totally different reason than I, the reason I love my cross references. I love the cross references to reading and studying, to looking up passages, but this stands up for something else. Let's get this out of the box and let you see it. All right, right off the bat, you'll see it is already, yeah, I do have the iron calfskin uh, turquoise from Church Bible Publishers and some of the other ones, but I tell you what, this lambskin, I love the grain. I love that they don't iron out lambskin. The grain is just nice. It has a tooled line. It is perimeter stitched. Just got a couple of loose stitches there, but that's just that's just the excess. Not really loose stitches, just the excess from the stitching. Perimeter stitched all around. So let you see that. <laughs> Look at this. When you have a genuine uh, skin, such as lamb skin, you, th you will have. They're not imperfections. They're just marks of the skin itself. Look at that. And that makes it uniquely yours. You do have Ole Bible, authorized King James, CBP. You have the one, two, three, four, five raised hubs or ribs. Go back and forth what they want to call them. It is silver. So the Holy Bible, otherwise King James, CBP is silver. If you will notice that the uh, guilting is not gold on this one, it is silver. A very bright silver. It's really nice. I'm a fan of gold, but this silver is it's beautiful. Um, it does come with two red ribbons. Head and tail bands are black and white. Got one tucked in there, but you can see how long it comes out. There you go. Very nice ribbons. And it is just there. They're very nice. So once again, I just love. Very soft, man. That, that is so. When they say the lambskin's like buttery soft, they're not kidding. Buttery soft. Perimeter stitch. And nice folds there. It is edge lined, uh, which means this goes underneath. And this is a synthetic liner. This comes underneath uh, on top. They glue it, press it. This makes the stress point from in here, moves up the page. So when you open the page, it's gonna do that. Do not pull that apart. That's for longevity. I've already broke this Bible in, but I tell you what, they have done an, I think a really excellent job on this Bible. It's just gorgeous. Once again, I thank you, brother, for sending this to me. I was like, wow. So let's get into it. So you have some cardstock pages, which is good. You can always write notes on those. Has a presentation page, family record of husband and wife, children, marriages, marriages, grandchildren, and death. Notice these are blue. Death page is on in the back. So, get into the Bible. This is the item number. 
215 RL Lamb. Church Bible Publishers. Normally you have the epistle dedicatory first, but they put the translators to the reader first on this one. If you never read that, I encourage it at least once. Very interesting uh, to see from the translators to you, the reader. I'm going through some of those, quite a few pages. Good print on this, I do believe. The turquoise is 10, 11.5. This is a 12 point font, I do believe. 33 GSM paper, 32, 33, something like that. Dimensions of the Bible, I'm gonna uh, let you know. Let me just keep my finger here. It is nine and three quarters by uh, long, seven inches wide, one and a half inches thick. Then you have the epistle dedicatory here. That is your contents, Old and New Testament. It does have the chapter breakdowns of each book. New Testament does start in new pages, new numbers. All right, alphabetical listing of the Bibles, chapters. Okay, so pretty well right out of the book, right out of the package. And that's Genesis, that's nice. It is, once again, Smythe's own pages. In fact, let me see if we can. There we go, you can probably see it down in there. Stitching, there you go. So let's go back to Genesis again. All right, so do you see the difference of uh, kind of the Bibles I would normally use in this one? There are no sound or center column references. There are no pronunciation marks. No cross references. So there's not going to be any numbers, letters in the passages at all. No markings. You will have top of page summaries. So that's kind of nice. You have at least that. Um, margins, you're going to have just over a quarter of an inch. So if you are a note taker, and I am a note taker, um, here is something that you can do um, on this one. If you take notes or put references on the left side column, just put the reference, you might have to write small, but put the reference on top of the page and then write your reference out here. So that everything you put on top of the page will be for this column. Anything you do on the right side of the page will be on this column. Or if you don't have a lot of references, put left column here, right column here. That'll work too. Just mark the verse where that reference is at. What I didn't think I would like about this Bible is what I like about it. Um, I think everybody needs to have one Bible that doesn't have all the references. Because I, once again, I love references, but let me tell you, I'm one that if I see a number, I'm automatically looking to the side. Unless I tell myself I'm just going to read and I'm not going to look up the letters, I'm not going to look up cross references, I'm not going to look up the alternative words, the K King James uh, version, um, like I said, a lot of times the turquoise that I have, the King James, uh, the alternate uh, readings, words. And I always look over there. Like I said, unless I'm telling myself, just read, don't look. If I'm doing it, I'm usually looking. I'm usually looking. But this one, there is no looking. Um, I don't think it's meant to, but it looks like it's pretty well line matched. That's nice. Uh, there is some see-through. I mean, it's uh, but you're looking at a $75 Bible as opposed to... You know, Cambridge, Schuyler, R.L. Allen, you know, you're looking at, you know, considerably more. Just take a look at that. Now, I'm going to go into the red letter. It is red letter all the way through. And uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see if it's pretty consistent. So let's just take a look at some pages. Let's start in Matthew.
Don't want to get you dizzy here. Let's just do this. Now, I do think this, this one is printed by Church Bible Publishers. It is uh, not the old style printing. This is more of a digital. So you're not going to have, even though I don't mind it, sometimes the turquoise will uh, smush some words together to make sure the, the verse line is printed. This one, you're not going to find that. It is close to what they called the uh, Cambridge, though. And it might be the same as a Cambridge large print, I'm not sure. But I like to even the question mark. It is considerably the same, <clears throat> excuse me, exact shape. So like this is Acts chapter 23, verse 16. So let's take a look at, and I'll do this comparison in a moment here. Acts 20, let's say 23, 16. I'm going to show you the question mark shape. This is the turquoise center column reference Bible. This is my workhorse right here. Okay, where's that question mark? What did I say? Oh, 2216, sorry. All right, so notice the shape of the question mark right there. See that shape? It's a very distinct looking shape of a question mark. Look at here. Same shape. So it is, um, still has that uh, Cambridge type point, but it's just, what I like about it is it's just easy to read. When you get down to start reading, oh, look at that verse. Be followers of me even as I also and of Christ. That totally goes against the uh, saying, don't look at me, I'm just going to mess up. No, we're supposed to be so close to Christ, we say, look at me, follow me, because if you do, you'll be following Christ. Whoa. But it's just clean. It's just clean. You can catch yourself just starting to read this and not get any distractions from the cross-references, from the numbers, from the letters, and we just find yourself reading chapter after chapter after chapter. And as far as, like I said, going back in the red letter, as I, we've looked, and I've looked, and I'm, I'm finding it be very consistent. I'm not finding a page that's real dark and the next one real light. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to find it. It may be there. You may find some. But I don't see any of that with the, the black text. And I'm not showing it with the red either. Very nice. Each uh, book does not begin on its own page. Here's what's nice. I think this uh, concordance is 196 pages. And it's very good. Now, other Bibles I like, I tell you, I like the, I love the Cambridge, uh, the Cambridge from Church Bible Publishers using an old uh, Cambridge style concordance. Uh, I do like the Schuyler Canterbury, but I'm going to tell you what, the concordance is so small. It is crazy small. You got to have a good day and good lighting. But look at the curtains. It's not paragraph uh, set. So each entry is going to have its own line. But that is very good print. I would say the main words is probably 12 point. And that might be, maybe that's probably about 9 point, maybe 8, 8 to 9 point font for the actual references in the concordance. I'm gonna have to say this is probably one of the best concordances. Um, the Cambridge turquoise concordance is a three column, a little bit smaller font. It's probably about seven, maybe six or seven. 
that's very nice. It does have in uh, map index. You have your maps in here. Border Cambridge style. Look really colorful. One that's always hard to read is this one, but this one's a little bit better. It's too dark a print that just smudges together. Look at that stitching in there. So, once again, this is, I love my turquoise. I love my center column references. I love bottom page references. I love uh, now the uh, alternate endings. Let's just take a look at the difference of print. All right, so let's, oops, there went my box. There we go. So, there we go. Turquoise on the left. Large print Bible on the right. So a couple things you got to notice. Um, because of those center column references, you're going to have a lot longer, more words per line. This is more bold print, but less words on the line. I, kinda, I really enjoy this because you can, your eyes don't have to go too far to read everything. It's just nice. But you do have, once again, you have the letters, numbers. So when I read it and give him no rest, I'm automatically going to hear him silence. I'm already looking over there. I don't always look at the cross-references unless I'm really searching for something. So I can cruise over there. Chapter 6, 1, verse 11. This one's cleaner. No numbers, no letters, nothing in the center column to distract at all. So this one, let me tell you what, this is great for reading and studying, message preparation. Um, this one is too, but if, if you're not really wanting to get in dip study and you just want to read, just you and God reading, personal intimate time with God, this is really nice. No distraction, just you and him. So I recommend both of these Bibles. Um, and I tell you what, this is top grain cowhide. This is my workhorse. I do have iron calfskin, and those are really nice. Um, but I have became a quick fan of the lambskin. Quick fan. I really like the Redeemer series. And if I ever get some more turquoise, I guess what? Yeah, if I don't go iron calfskin, which I have one of those, I'd probably get the turquoise in the lambskin. I might even get, like, this is just nice. Good, consistent red letters. And it is red letter all the way through. So like Acts chapter 9. Revelation. And I think this would be really good for like micron pens. I'd always use a zero, 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 005. There's Revelation. Once again, it's uh, all the way through the book of Revelation. Text only. There we go. Hey. Uh, recommend this nice and brother once again uh, thank you beautiful Bible um, thank you for watching uh, if you like what you watch subscribe hit like hit ring the notification button ding -a ling have a good one God bless